Hello, my name's Sarah Burgess. I'm an artist. I work with stitch, print and construction. I build things as well. I've asked, been asked to talk today just to say a few words about my experiences starting as a complete beginner with a bit of online teaching and so that's what I'm going to try and do. I taught in college for many years and when I finished college teaching I carried on with my freelance work and I used to travel quite extensively in the UK teaching and also some local groups and one or two things abroad as well. Um, but of course like everybody else in the spring everything fell apart uh, and all my teaching was cancelled or postponed. To begin with having the time was great but then I began to feel that I needed to re-establish contact, particularly with one of the um, groups that I was working with regularly, um, probably about nine times a year over the last number of years. And they were based in Derbyshire. And I began to think that perhaps what I would do is set up a WhatsApp group that they could all join. WhatsApp was new to many of them but we got it going we got everybody on we formed a group and we met regularly using whatsapp but people were really uploading images of their work and then getting feedback from other members of the group and from me as well and it, there was a social element to it which was really useful and that kept us going for a while but I began to feel that the group needed something a bit more um, structural, if you like, a bit more structured. And I'd taken part over the early part of the summer in one or two Zoom workshops as a participant myself. And I began to think that um, this was something perhaps I could begin to look at. So I joined Zoom on the free uh, version of that. You don't have to pay at the beginning if you want to just run very short um, uh, very short sessions. So that was how we started and the group would send me images of their work or things that they were interested in and I would put them into a PowerPoint presentation and I found how to share screen on Zoom so that everybody could see the PowerPoint presentation at the same time. So it's a bit like giving a, a sort of real-time slide lecture and then people could talk to their own slides so they would be asking questions of the group and it was really quite interactive and, and worked very well. But again, I felt that we should try an actual teaching session, an actual live teaching session. And the first one I did was working on a board behind me. So I was using the camera on my PC and sometimes I would be talking to the group or showing them things and sometimes I would be working on the board behind myself and that worked quite well. We had a structured day, I would demonstrate, the students would go away and do some work, we would come back to meet at you know coffee time and I would tell them what they were going to do next and we went on like that through the day and they were able to give me feedback at the end which was really useful. So they were online all day but we were meeting at particular points and and that worked fine but of course with all the things that I do it working on a vertical surface all the time is very difficult if I want to demonstrate printing or show something or do some drawing or even m move pieces of fabric around and demonstrate something I need a horizontal surface so I came across a fabulous thing called gooseneck many of you may be familiar with these and it's the most fantastic flexible clamp um, it has a strong spiral wire in it and a very flexible camp clamp and you can use your mobile phone as a second camera and you can point it down to a horizontal surface. So I did some practicing with this, watched a few uh, YouTube um, films and uh, began to have a go with it and actually it works really well. When I'm teaching online at the moment, what I want to try and do is replicate a live workshop as if I was teaching in front of those people. 
and this allows me to do that because the camera is shown as another participant in the Zoom workshop. It's really quite easy to do if you do a search uh, on, uh, on YouTube for working with a second camera. It explains how to do that. Basically, you send yourself an invitation to your own Zoom session, if you're familiar with Zoom, and you open that on the phone, on the mobile phone, and that you're then that mobile phone is then shown as one of the participants in the group and once you get going you can open up the image that you're going to the camera that you're going to use for the demonstrating um, so that that's the main image on the screen and it's quite easy to find out how to do that and then you can be talking in the way that I'm talking to you now but it's a live experience and because the students are on Zoom as well they can be asking questions and you can be answering those questions as you're actually demonstrating. Yeah, it, it works really well. We also do use still uh, WhatsApp as a, a method for feeding back so they can send me images quickly on WhatsApp and I can feed back to them and they can exchange things with themselves, it, it, with each other. It works really quite well. A year ago, I could not do any of this. I didn't even know I was going to need to. It's been sometimes frustrating, but it's very satisfying when you suddenly get something and makes it work. I'm very glad that I learned how to do this with a group that I knew well. It, you do need a little bit of practice until you start to feel uh, relaxed and comfortable with it yourself. It's not as good as face-to-face -face teaching, but it's a lot better than nothing. Give it a go if you're interested. It's not difficult, and if I can do it, you certainly can. Good luck.